Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, continuing again with the January creative prompts, and today is January the 9th. I want to remind you that you can go just below and click on the, click on the gear to make videos go faster. If you are on an iPad, you may have to go up to the top and click on the three dots. Do know that you can go below and look at the show more, click on that, and you'll get links to the Facebook group, Friendly Junk Journal People, as well as products that I use, my social media connectors, all of that information is down below. And if you like this video, share it, give it a thumbs up, and of course comment if you have any comments, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I try to put some good stuff up here. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So the creative prompts are written by Robin Finnessy, or were written by Robin, and she's one of uh, my good friends. She's the administrator of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and we did this because people were asking for prompts, ideas, inspirations to work in their journals and actually journal, not just create beautiful journals and let them sit on the shelf collecting dust. Today we are to pick three colors for our journal page and create the page using only those colors. When done creating your journal page, write about your favorite color or why you chose these three for your page. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate this side with the colors, but I'm going to write over here. And my journal is loose bound. I have not tied it up together permanently. So I'm going to take this page out and I'm going to move my journal out of the way. I've got a piece of, what do you call this, a mixed media mat here. So what I'm going to do is a, a kind of a two-fold thing. I don't want paint on the rest of my journal page, so I'm just going to put a piece of paper in between the two pages, and then we're going to work on this part. So I've picked three colors. I use these colors a lot. In fact, if you notice, they're you know, blue and, and uh, purples are in my hair. I don't know, I've always loved turquoisey teal colors. I love the ocean. So I've decided to pick these three colors. I've got like a light turquoise, a, I think it's called island blue, and then purple that I've chosen. I've already put them in my palette over here. And I've got a old player card, a credit card, a gift card that I'm going to use. I'm going to dip it into the teal, the lightest color, and I'm going to put that all over this book page. It's just a random page that I had pulled out of a book, and I'm just going to paint it. Try not to move my page too much. I'm going to go ahead and dry my page, and I'll be right back. I'm wiping off my card onto a page that I use for gel printing. We can use that for other things later. I've got a stencil from the November Stencil Club here. And I think what I want to do, I'm trying to decide how much I want to put on here. I'm going to lay it over most of the page so that I can choose where I want to put the design. And I've got one of these blending tools from Ranger Ink and one of the sponges on there. I keep it on there until it starts to disintegrate and then I pull it off. I just wash it out in water whenever I'm done. So I'm going to pick up some of this next color. I think I'm going to use the purple. Actually, I'm going to mix the two. So I'm going to grab a little bit of both. So I'm getting a little bit of both on there. And I'm just going to go down the side just a little bit. I kind of like the way that just fades in just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to flip this stencil around just so I don't get paint all over the rest of my page. I'm going to change it to the other side. This, again, is part of my stencil club, and I decided to start adding two designs on one page because you can flip them around. You can use both at the same time, however you want. I think this time I'm going to grab more of the purple and go right down the middle. Then I'm going to grab this darker teal and go on this side. Oh, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my water. I have a little cake pan over to the side that I put just a little bit of water in. And then I'm going to clean off my dauber. First, I'm going to just daub it onto this piece of paper that was used for gel printing. 
and then I can use that later on. I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. I got a little paint on the other side right here, but that's okay. We'll probably end up covering it up anyway. But I like the way that looks so far. So let's see what else I can put on here. Okay, I think I have a plan now. I dug around in my stash. I have some rubber stamped images that I color with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This particular one, I put some tulip dimensional glitter paint on. Then I've got the word, be a difference maker. This is from my inspirational words, white words on black is what I call them. You can get it as a digital download or you can get it as a physical printed item that's individually cut out for you. And then I grabbed one of the label duo stamps. It's got little birdies on here. I think it'll look pretty cute if I stamp it up here. So I'm going to stamp that on here and see how this looks. Oh, that looks cute. It's got a little frame. It's got the little birdies. And then I thought this would look good right in the middle. I don't consider black and white one of the colors of the three colors. Just saying. <laughs> All right, and then I've got this little butterfly, but I thought it might look better if I put some washi tape down. And I had this black and white little washi tape. So I think I'll do is take a little piece of this and rip it and put it across the bottom here. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to put that right on top. Isn't that kind of neat? All right, I'm going to glue that down get my journal back and I'm going to go ahead and slip this into the spot where it belongs. That look kind of cool. And then I'm going to write over here why I uh, chose color wise and why I chose those. All right, so here's what I wrote was use three colors on a journal page. Why did I use those three colors? I should put an exclamation point. Today is January 9th. I don't remember if I said that at the beginning. I chose teal, turquoise, and purple. These have been favorite colors of mine since I was very young. Back then, I didn't know how much I loved the ocean, but I knew I loved these colors. Looking at these colors makes me very happy and having items in these colors near me holds me over until I can get back to looking at the ocean soon. All right, well, I hope you're inspired to create in your journal. If you didn't have a second page like this, you could write over here. You could add another little piece of paper on top and write on that to give you a little bit more of a visible journaling space. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment. And of course, also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. See you on Mondays at 3.45, Thursdays at 12.30 p.m., and have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.